Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mike. I'm here to do a response to a chat topic video that was introduced by my good friend, Robert Harrison, whom we like to call uh, Bob of the North. Bob lives up in Canada. And he came up with this idea to, to choose our favorite Christmas film. But here's the scenario. The, the, the scenario that he set forth is we are off somewhere in the middle of the wilderness well, Bob lives in Canada, so that's kind of like being in the middle of the wilderness. Sorry, Bob, just kidding. Out in the woods someplace in a log cabin all by yourself, and um, you have one Christmas movie to watch on Christmas Eve, okay? So what would be your number one choice? So anyway, that's the idea. He, he set the stage, uh, rustic log cabin, bring your favorite, your favorite beverage. He chose whiskey. Uh, I chose rum and coke, which is what I'm having now. So did my friend Ian. He chose rum and coke as well. And my friend uh, Castor from Brazil chose cachaça, which is a very good drink. I like it. I like it. So the snow's falling outside. You've got fireplace burning. And Ian suggested you have a dog over in the corner someplace. I could do it without the dog, but yeah, if you like dogs, what the hell. Um, so you go out and you walk you walk in the woods and the snow's falling on your head. And so you come back and you settle down and you watch your favorite Christmas movie. So what would it be? And everybody is invited invited to uh play along with this. It's just for fun. So when I, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this, and I was going to make trying to be real snarky and funny and sarcastic, I was, I was going to show you some bogus choices, right? which uh, scream Christmas to everybody. Uh, number one choice was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's cheerful. Next would be this Al Adamson classic, <clears throat> Satan's Sadist. Ooh. A Rebellion of Human Garbage, the most violent film of the decade. Okay, could you watch that on Christmas Eve? And then finally, just for fun, this little uh, crazy compilation Monsters Crash the Pajama Party. Spook Show Spectacular. Asylum of the Insane. Would you show that to your kids on Christmas Eve? Probably not. So forget trying to be funny. Let's all talk seriously here. There's only one film that I, I thought of. There really wasn't anything else to choose from because there's only one film throughout my lifetime that has uh, meant more to me as a Christmas message film the true spirit of Christmas than anything else. And that is A Christmas Carol, the 1951 version starring the incredible Alastair Sim and this adorable kid who played Tiny Tim. I have no idea what the name of the actor was, but he's a great little, great little kid. Um, I grew up watching this almost every Christmas Eve throughout my life with my mother and my sister. My dad was never there because he always had to work right he would work all night third shift and come back in the morning for christmas and so this movie is i I've, well i can't say it's the best version because i haven't seen the other versions i probably should at one time at least see the one from 1938 i haven't seen parts of that film but wasn't that crazy about it but i've never seen i've never seen the one with uh, george c scott and if there are any others i have no idea so, uh, yeah, I love this. Uh, the imagery is incredible, especially the part at the end where the ghost of Christmas um, future, I guess it is, Christmas to come, with the long black robe, you know, with a hand out like that, the bell ringing. Oh, my God. I mean, that is something that will just, when you're a kid, something like that just gets into your your mind and stays there forever. And it still gets to me. I can still get teary-eyed when I watch this film. It's, uh, it's just got a great message. I like the book very much by Charles Dickens. And I, I uh, need to read it again. Maybe that will be a, something to do with Christmas this year. So anyway, Christmas is not really my favorite time of the year. I tend to get seasonally depressed a little bit. So I don't, I don't always, every year, really get into it. This year I'm kind of feeling a little more positive about it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But... Um, Anyway, that would be my choice, and I would like to hear from anybody else who loves this movie as much as I did, as much as I do, and uh, 
Tell me what you think about the other versions and you think which one I should watch. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that the uh, George C. Scott version is really good and the one from 1938. So tell me what you think. All right. And if you would like to join in on this little uh, chat topic, please do. Like I said, it's just for fun. So until I see you again, and it may be Christmas before I make another video of the way things are going. Um, take care, folks. Comments are welcome.